it's still illegal to praise Donald Trump. I was looking for a particular image and I came across this old meme from several years ago. Donald Trump has been in the public eye for over 30 years. And it shows a number of African Americans, especially prominent New York City African Americans. And he was never once accused of being racist by anyone until he decided to run against the Democrats. So I went ahead and put it up on Facebook. Same day, this is what I saw. The image was blanked out as a hateful hate speech image. And Facebook telling me the same day I posted it, false information, the same information, was checked in another post by independent fact checkers. See why? False information. Independent fact checkers say this information has no basis in fact. You can choose whether to see it. The same false information was checked in another post by fact checkers. There may be small differences. Donald Trump has a large organization that he's run for ever since he was 20 years old. He has made many white people rich who worked for the Trump Organization. And in fact, people of every ethnicity, sexual orientation, and gender have worked for Donald Trump and become wealthy working for Donald Trump. African Americans, Asians, Hispanics, Native Americans, and Chinese people Men and women, people who, regardless of their sexual orientation or who they slept with, all worked for Donald Trump when he was a real estate magnet. And the fact is, Donald Trump was never called a racist until he ran against Hillary Rodham Clinton in the 2016 presidential election. This is something you shouldn't have. <coughs> what was that? Is that a dog? <coughs> it's Hillary. But let's go back to this particular item here for Facebook. With the release of the Twitter files, it was learned that every social media company colluded with the Democratic Party in the 2020 presidential election to block people from praising Donald Trump. And these same social media companies did everything they could to encourage posts praising candidate Joe Biden. A private corporation, of course, has every right to edit the posts of their users on their platforms in any way they see fit. But there was nobody employed at Facebook to censor posts praising Joe Biden. So why are there people employed in November 2023 to block posts praising Donald Trump? One year from now, Americans will go vote for the presidential candidate of their choice. Even if one of those candidates is locked up in prison at the time that they make their vote. This is identical to what communist states do when they control elections from the ground up all the way to the top. Donald Trump only became a racist when the Democratic Party said he was a racist. In the 2024 presidential election, social media companies are once again rigging elections for their party of choice. Whatever this is, it's not a free election, and this should be illegal. And I don't know why a single Republican leader in the House or Senate is not around to fight any of this. They must view Donald Trump as a bigger threat to the Republican Party than the Democrats and their social media companies do. Thank you.